If you own a car and enjoy hitting the open road, brace yourself. Getting stuck is almost a rite of passage. It's annoying, sure, but it happens to the best of us. The good news? You don't have to stay stuck. We're here to share some tips and tricks to help you escape those frustrating jams. So stick around, because nobody likes a car that's going nowhere. Picture this. You're cruising down the road, feeling like a rock star, when BAM! Your car decides to play dead. Both rear wheels kaput. Now, you could sit there pondering life's cruel sense of humor, but here's a trick to get you out of this jam. If you've got a hydraulic jack in your car's trunk, you're in luck. Pop it out, crank it up, and lift that car. Find some sturdy stones, no pebbles please, and slide them under one side of your car. Lower it onto the stones, then repeat for the other side. Once done, gingerly drive off at a snail's pace. Think tortoise winning the race. But if your driving confidence is shaky or you can't find stones that don't resemble sand, call the professionals. Imagine this, a car. Another car, another narrow road, and another driver needing to pull off some vehicular gymnastics. This time, it's the same reverse shuffle with one wheel floating mid-air like it's on a tightrope. After a nod to the car behind, they inch forward, praying gravity's on their side. Here's a fun one. Your car's stuck in a field at a wild 45 degree angle. You try everything, front wheel drive, reverse, even a little pleading, but nothing's getting it out of this jam. Before you turn your car into a pancake, take a deep breath, grab your phone and call for professional help. Sometimes it's best to leave the tilting to carnival rides. Okay, here's the scenario, you're on a narrow bridge, and another car is barreling toward you. The only thing keeping you from going over the edge is a trusty side barricade. If it's sturdy enough and you're feeling bold, you can try a little stunt. Carefully guide your car's closest two tires onto the barricade and edge forward. Just don't look down. Putting those tires back on the road? Now that's the tricky part. One wrong move and your wallet's going to feel a lot lighter. This isn't exactly the time to play bumper cars. You know that sinking feeling when you're trapped in a car that's blocked from every angle? It's like being in a sardine can with wheels. But hey, some drivers know just how to escape these tight spots. Like this guy, he's pulling off a masterclass in squeezing out. If you're thinking of following his lead, here's a tip. Retract those rear view mirrors. Trust me, you don't want to add a mirror repair to your list of things to fix. Ever felt like a car sandwich? Front, back, and nowhere to go? Well, here's a glimmer of hope. The truck in front has a sky-high trailer. With some clever maneuvering, this skilled driver can wiggle out like a snake, shedding its skin. Just a little finesse, and voila! No more feeling squished. It's like a vehicular Houdini act, minus the straight jacket.
Ever find yourself staring at a right turn that might as well be mission impossible? Well, this driver's turning physics into fun. With three tires hugging the ground and one defying gravity like it's auditioning for a spacewalk, they're proving that understanding your car's center of gravity is key. It's like a high-stakes game of balancing acts. But hey, who needs a circus when you've got roadside entertainment like this? Now consider you're driving along and suddenly your car decides to take a nap in a giant hole. The worst part, no hydraulic jack in sight. But wait, there's hope in the form of a trusty rope stashed in your trunk. Tie it tightly around both tires to create enough tension, lifting your car just like a hydraulic jack. Voila! You've got a DIY solution for getting out of a sticky situation. Ever had a roadblock that's more Rocky Balboa than smooth sailing? No worries, your car's a beast. It can handle one to two tons of weight. Just grab a sturdy rope, lasso that boulder blocking your path, and give it a tug. With a little muscle and a lot of determination, you'll have that rock rolling like it's late for a meeting. Who needs a construction crew when you've got a car that doubles as a boulder mover? 